For the first time, the former co-workers of Brian Macron are sharing their story about his mysterious death. His body was found in Chippewa Lake in 2017, but investigators only closed the case a few months ago. They say there's no evidence anyone else was involved. But a podcast focusing on this case is fielding, uh, questioning those findings. And two Lafayette Township trustees say their names have been dragged through the mud in the process. Now, they talked to News 5's Jesse Schultz to give their side of the story. Linda Bowers and Michael Costello worked together with Brian Macron for years as Lafayette Township trustees, but say they were more than just co-workers. He was our friend. He was our friend. And if he came back today, he'd still be our friend. And when his body was found in Chippewa Lake, they say they were horrified. Ohio BCI's four-year investigation found no one other than Macron was responsible for his death. We, we didn't believe it for the longest time. Police say they found Macron's blood and signs of a struggle at the Lafayette Township Administration Building in December of 2016. But investigators determined Macron staged the scene. And police ultimately suggested he drove himself to the lake where he died of hypothermia. Brian's death was tragic. And the investigators' findings were shocking. But we refrain from commenting on that. Although the case was closed in the eyes of investigators, a podcast, Invisible Ships, has very much kept it open in the eyes of the public. Most people in this area, I think they would tend to agree that things aren't adding up. Podcast co-host Darren Nupp says there were just too many inconsistencies. I, I think having eyes on anything is always a good thing. But for Costello and Bowers, they claim the podcast has turned their lives upside down, saying some listeners accuse them of covering up Macron's death. They've even received death threats. Nothing more than rumors. Rumors and conspiracy theories. It shouldn't be a matter of entertainment. Nup says they never intended to hurt anyone just to find out the truth. I would love to have their interview. I wanted their interview from the get-go. We, we reached out to them twice. But Bowers and Costello have now launched their own website, Lafayette Facts. The goal, to debunk what has been said in the podcast with reports and sworn affidavits. You, know, you don't hear anybody out there that has read the reports, that believes the reports, out there making any noise. The two saying it's time to officially put the case to rest. Simply, we want to dispel the, inter the internet rumors and express our continuing grief for our friend. Reporting in Medina County, Jesse Schultz, News 5. Well, News 5 also talked to Victoria Macker, and today she is Brian's wife. She said in part she doesn't have a comment about the website, but encourages everyone to listen to that podcast. Now, she stated the case should be reopened with a more thorough investigation. Uh, Beachwood